Uh, so if we're going to do Mexican, we need some sides, right? Sure. sure. All right. So what are we going to do? We're going to do uh, beans. Beans. Um, yep. We have standard uh, Mexican fare. Yes, we're going to use refried beans. Mm -hmm. um, traditionally, what we do is we take them and put them in a small crock pot, depending uh -huh. on uh, how many you're going to do. Um, I'll buy them in, in about a three pound bag, right. and depending on how, again how many people are coming over, mm -hmm. I'll cut it down to about half of a bag. Right. And what I do is I'll pick out any of them that uh, don't belong in there, uh -huh. and then I'll put them in a crock pot with water and let them soak. That's a good point. I never used to do that until I got a rock that looked <laughs> like a bean. And ever since then, it yeah. says to sort and you know sift through and rinse them. Correct. I started doing that because I almost broke a molar on yes. a little tiny pebble. Absolutely. So, and they're in there. They yeah, are in there. They are in there. Um, so. Yeah, but we'll put them in there. We'll soak them. Mm -hmm. Usually, I'll soak them overnight. Right. And then I'll drain the water. Mm -hmm. And then usually what I'll do is I'll put it on low. And I'll let it, if you want to have them that afternoon or evening, mm -hmm. start them early in the morning, put it on low, and just let it go. Okay. Yeah, nice and easy. Mm -hmm. Usually, I'll I'll do it all in the crock pot. Uh -huh. But just for what we're doing out here, I I did transfer them mm -hmm. over here. And as you can see, they're they're going to be very hot. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to drain the water out. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I usually do is I'll I'll use another dish mm -hmm. and I'll use like a coffee mug or something like that. And I'm going to have you hold this because okay. what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, as much of the water out as we possibly can. Uh, right. But we're going to save it because once we start mashing the beans, it mm. tends to need more moisture, right. and so that way we can put some back in. Right. We have all the flavors in this, so you don't want to add kitchen water or anything like that. You want to mm -hmm. use the flavors that you have for it. I mean, you know, it just uh, tastes a little bit better. You just want to mash them all up. That's it. That's it. And occasionally, what I'll do is I'll get a wooden spoon or, mm -hmm. or some kind of a spatula or something, and then I'll scrape the sides, and then that way we can uh, just mix everything up to make sure that you have all the beans mm -hmm. uh, mashed and you don't have a section that has has a lot of unmashed beans. All right. So those look really good right there. Now, right. What, what I do, um, and again, I'm not someone who uses a lot of uh, salt, uh -huh. but I will add a lot of salt. This is one area where they just taste salt better with important. a lot of salt. All right. Um, so I have um, just a, we'll call it a dash. Mm -hmm. And it's, Oops, whoop, there it, it goes. <laughs> we, we call that one a lump. A lump? Yeah, that was a lump. It just kind of jumped out of that. But we'll, right. we'll go ahead and... Mix um, it on in? Yeah, mix it up very well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add cheese. And, oh, uh, simple this, enough. Yep, this is another area that it, it's uh, personal, personal preference. What I usually do is I'll get something that has a, a cheese that they'll classify for like quesadilla. Mm -hmm. That's what we have here. All right. Um, Queso quesadilla. Yep. And so that uh, will melt easy mm -hmm. and it gets kind of stringy mm -hmm. and it's just a lot of fun to put in there. All so right. what I'll do is uh, I'll let you open that up. And traditionally what I'll do is I'll just kind of, that may be able to peel apart, uh -huh. you know, and if it does, we'll just sliver it and throw slivers and stir. So I'll stir while you're slivering. So this is almost like a string cheese? Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It's probably got the same uh, textures and similar uh, so flavor. So just put little little bits in? Little bits, and uh, while it's hot, it'll melt. Mm -hmm. And again, this is uh, one of those things that uh, put as lots of cheese in it. Okay. All right, now we need? Rice. Rice. Gotta rice and it. beans. Yep. Go with the carne asada fajita burrito taco. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> that was good. I've been practicing while it's raining. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, we got uh, Spanish rice right here. Mm -hmm. um, I am not the greatest rice maker, so uh -huh. with this being a simple recipe meal package, uh -huh. we are going to go with the instant stuff. Okay. So you can find it at any of your grocery store. Mm -hmm. They'll have it. Uh, just find your favorite uh, brand, uh -huh. follow the instructions, and it's pretty easy. Pretty not, easy. It's not complicated. Okay. So we're just gonna we're just gonna follow directions. Quick and simple. Quick and simple. Mm -hmm. That's what we want. All right. And uh, we'll get complicated another day, but today it's quick and simple. All right. We got guacamole. Mm -hmm. uh, again, we're gonna keep it very simple. Uh -huh. You can go to the store and get a, a package of guacamole mix. All right. Right here. Uh, most of them, if not all of them, require two avocados. Mm -hmm. You can get the mix in a mild or a hot. Okay. Um, the mild has a little bit of a zing, so if mm -hmm. you 
I like it hot, don't worry about it. You'll have a little bit of that in okay. it, so and don't worry. Right. Um, but if you like it mild, uh, sometimes I'll mix a little bit of sour cream in it, okay. and I'll just kind of uh, soften it a little bit. Gotcha. Uh, in picking uh, avocados, a lot of people go for the real firm, hard ones. Mm -hmm. That don't work. All right. You want something that's got a little bit of a mush to it. A little the, give. Yeah, these probably need a little bit more. They're a little uh -huh. bit on the firm side. Uh -huh. um, at the grocery store, that's all they had, so obviously uh -huh. you're going to go with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you uh, cut these in. Yeah, any dark spots or anything mm -hmm. like that, you cut it out. And then just scoop it out? Scoop it out, throw it in there. While you're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Yeah, I had the difficult part. Yeah, the know. hard part. I'm gonna contribute in, in this, I guarantee you. All right, now with this, we'll just mix it in. Mm -hmm. Now we mash it? Mash it. Is that it? Yeah. Oh. This is, a, this is an easy, quick mm -hmm. recipe that uh, anybody can do. So we're gonna make three different dishes. Mm -hmm. The first one, if you'll hand me a plate, we're mm -hmm. gonna just do a, a simple steak. Uh -huh. That's what we're gonna do first. Ah, we'll get this piece right go. here. Looks perfect for that. Mm -hmm. um, next, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fluff the rice. We will take care of that. And it's nice and hot, steaming out. All so right. we will add a healthy helping of rice. Mm -hmm. This is a two scoop. A two scooper? This is a two scooper, okay. <laughs> We'll do the same for the uh, beans. The beans are nice and hot. Uh -huh. The cheese is melted. We put lots of cheese in it. Oh, yeah, it looks Perfectly good. Perfectly melted, perfect thickness. Mm -hmm. I can see a little swirl of cheese yeah. in the beans. Gotta love cheese. Mm -hmm. I always like putting a little bit of sour cream. On your beans? On your beans or, or as it flies. No, <laughs> All over the table yeah. on your shirt. <laughs> yep, exactly. Uh, same with the guacamole. We'll put mm -hmm. that on the side. Uh -huh. And... Uh, um, again, we got lettuce, we got cheese. Mm -hmm. I'll put a little bit of uh, cheese on the top. Uh -huh. I'm done with it. Nice um, little garnish. Yep, nice little garnish. And mm -hmm. again, we got lettuce and tomatoes onions and, and everything else. So you just add whatever you want. Okay. What, uh, uh, something else that I do is a lot of times I'll add a tortilla. So uh -huh. with this, All excuse right. me, I'll slide in here and warm it up mm -hmm. and just set it. And then you can just have this and then put it on the side. You, yep. Mm -hmm. And use that to. Uh, to eat with. All right, and so, so there's there's our first. Yep. Just standard plated up Mexican. Yep. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. All right. Mm -hmm. And okay. then, then thank you. Part two. We'll get a. Uh, uh, we'll do tacos. Tacos. Yep. All right. Let's do a taco. So tacos, you want the smaller? Correct. Correct. Tortilla. Um, as you can see, we've already cut up a little bit. Mm -hmm. When it comes down to this, this is just kind of a pinch thing. You mm -hmm. know, get you. A, some of that on there. Uh -huh. uh, with this, um, I'll usually put the beans on first to kind of... So this is a full-on taco. This isn't oh, kind of yeah, the naked yeah. taco. No, it's just and meat and cheese, maybe a little lettuce. Oh, it's basically the same thing as a plate. We're just going to mm -hmm. put it all on uh, one. Um, and I'll, I'll go over another type of taco that I really like. Uh -huh. It's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Again, we'll uh, put some cheese on it. Uh -huh. A uh, little salsa, kick made, it up a little bit, a yep, little we spicy. Made, we made some homemade uh, salsa, mm. a little bit of lettuce. Mm -hmm. We got to get our greens in. Yeah. I, don't, I don't get enough of them, so we're going <laughs> to we're gonna play good boy here and, and get uh, some of that on there. A little sour cream. A little sour cream. Some of you like a lot, so that's for you like a lot. Mm -hmm. The guacamole has to go on here. This is this is worth. So this is the ultimate super supremo taco. Oh, absolutely. Those. You're going to need a bigger tortilla the way you make these. Uh, or do you just put another one on no, top and try it? No, no, man, you just wad it up and just <laughs> eat it. There's no rules with this. You're uh -huh. going to make a mess. Don't be shy. Uh -huh. And there you go. You got a nice yeah. taco. Right Usually there. it's going to take two of those to get me full. Okay. Last one is going to be a burrito. Mm -hmm. So I'll need one more plate. One more plate for yep. you? The big tortilla. The big tortilla. Wow, look at this. Yeah. I mean, that's like a car cover there. It is. It's a, it's it's the size of a hubcap. This is for all the cleanup. We want lots of it. I'm gonna mm -hmm. cut a just a little bit more because we want to make sure we have plenty on there. Mm -hmm. um, so this is gonna be a Gonzo burrito. Okay, just a little bit more on there. Mm -hmm. And again, this is throw it all on there. So the difference between your taco and your burrito is just the size? Yeah, and, much. And, uh, yeah. and the burrito, we're going to fold it and kind of uh, kind of trap everything together. Mm -hmm. It's less messy. All right. 
usually. Except when I eat. Yeah, I was going to say it doesn't <laughs> always happen that way. Uh -huh. And this is for the big appetites. Uh -huh. We can make a gonzo burrito here. And this is going to be something Some to put cheese. a lot. Yeah, got to have it. Got to put a little spicy salsa in there. Yep. Zip it up. Just give it a little bit of oomph. We got more room to put more guacam or uh, sour cream. This is sour cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you All can right. tell because it's not green. It's not green. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it is it is the, the color of sour cream, so we'll call it sour cream. Mm -hmm. This is a guacamole. There you go. And you got to have some guacamole. Uh-huh. We also have onions, lettuce, and tomatoes, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna probably eat this when we're done. All so right. I'm not putting so you're that gonna on make it there. the way no, you I'm, like this it. This is mine. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a, a hog, a burrito hog, uh -huh. but we're gonna we're gonna do this. Well, there's enough to make more, so yep. we'll, we'll be good. We'll be good. This, what we'll do is we'll fold this, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna attempt to try to do it in one pass. This is a big burrito. Uh -huh. Try to get it all in there without everything breaking. And, and we're not going to do it. We're going to get messy. In. We're going to have a little overflow. Yep, and that's fine. There you go. That is a big burrito. Look at that. That's, that's, that's a, like a two-pounder. That's, a, that's a, yeah. Well, I should have brought a scale and weighed yeah. it. Huh? <laughs> if you have a great recipe you'd like to share with us, check us out on our website. It's yourplatesormine.net. Be sure to send me an email, and who knows, we may come cook with you. Also, all these great recipes are always on our website, so be sure to check them out. And if you want past recipes, follow the link to the blog. Once again, Richard, awesome. Really appreciate it. And now it's time to eat. Don't go away. We'll be right back. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's one of those things you just kind of grab. And so I'm going to set it down and move away from it. Because <laughs> right. you just want to touch that, it. That's you know, probably a good thing. Slosh around. It, it, it lets me do this some uh -huh. more. This one. We'll let you do the slosh. Okay, I've been kind of been a slosh yeah. hog. <laughs> is we'll flip it a few times. And yes, I want.